Yes, yeah, folks, and welcome to my little garden here. Now, today we're going to go and check out our advanced nectarine tree to see if it's copped any leaf curl. Cool. We've shown you the small ones that I've didn't spray often enough and they did get infected and they got aphids all over them and we've gone through that but we're going to check out the big one now but before we go there as well along the journey while we were cleaning up this garden today you can see how beautifully immaculate and clean it is lawns have been done we're not doing the english box yet and we've got to cut back some of the perennials over there that i've just let them go to seed because i want them to germinate and drop seed and germinate all over the place but more importantly my chooks my good old girls, they've been laying eggs, but I don't know where. So I've got to try and find them. And I heard a one clucking away just earlier on, and I thought there's got to be something going on in here. And sure enough, there it is. Come in here. Have a look at this. What a collection. Now, they're old. They're the ones that are old. This is a fresh one today. Got one for the, uh, for the fry pan. There's got to be more. Actually, there are more. I'm not going to show you the tool shed. There's a section in the tool shed where they get into, so our chooks are free range. So needless to say, it's always a treasure hunt when you're looking for your eggs. So I've got one now. This is a tree that we've been spraying from the beginning of autumn to control leaf curl. And in the previous years, not in the last couple, but prior to that, it was always riddled with leaf curl, literally from top to bottom, knocking it out. And again, now have a look at this. We've actually got some leaf curl on it too still, folks. It started to develop on the tips and it's going to work its way back down. So in this sort of circumstances, folks, it's worked. I mean, the, the, the spray has worked. Otherwise, this would have been completely covered with leaf curl. That's the twisting of the leaves. You know what I'm talking about by now. This happens to the tree, to nectarines and peaches. What you've got to do with this sort of stuff now is just literally pick off all the infected leaves like this as I'm doing here. It will cause a lot more damage if you leave it on there. It'll spread through the entire tree. I'm actually a little bit disappointed, or a little bit disappointed, that I've actually got this amount of leaf curl on it. I have been spraying it. You've all watched me spray it. Nevertheless, this is what happens. We've got still plenty of flowers on it, so I'm confident we're going to get some fruit off this tree. Uh, it's spraying it. Well, I wouldn't spray it now while the flowers are still pushing out, even though they're at the end of their life cycle. Have they started to form at all? Have we got any fruiting going on? It's hard to tell. Oh, there is. There's something going on in there. So I'm going to let this go for another week. In the meantime, I'm going to pick off all the, all the leaves. You should do the same. If you haven't sprayed your tree, here we are. We've got some fruit here. We've got one, two. Is that a double bud? No, that's... Oh, look, there's another one in there forming there. So we're going to have a fair, fair amount of fruit on this tree over here as well. There's fruit forming on this part here. There's fruit there. I can see the fruit coming on everywhere, folks. So, oh, even down here, right next to me, there's another one forming there. Let's hope it keeps them and doesn't drop them. We did get hit by the uh, frost uh, or ice the other two or three, four nights ago, maybe a bit longer than that. Actually, two cycles of it. It was about a week ago and a, a week prior to that, we got a heavy dosage of frost overnight. If you have a close look, most of the leaf curl is occurring, except for this one down here, on the tips. Have a look at this branch here, nice and clean. That's all the old stock there, but we've got the new shoots right at the tip there, and it gets smashed with the leaf curl. It hasn't affected the rest of it, and I reckon it can spread quite easily by the moisture, by the rain, by spores blowing around, and the water carrying it all as well. Even me touching it like this now is not the best thing to do. So you've got to clean it up, and I've got to, I'm actually going to prune it back on the tips, some areas there. You know, there's another part to this where I've seen a lot of trees in my travels where, you know, peach or nectarine, be it any of those two, where they've sat in a position of the garden where they're getting a lot of sun on one part of it and no sun on the other side. And where the sun is shining on it, that's riddled with leaf curl, whereas the other part where it's in the shade, and I remember one place in particular where they had a veranda over the top and the tree was growing half underneath and half out. And the part that was actually underneath had no leaf curl on it at all whatsoever. So I'm not saying that the sun's a nasty thing or piece of work out there, we need it, but I reckon it does affect the tree somewhat in, in, you know, in exacerbating the problem and causing it to become active, more so than if it was in part shade. So you imagine the orchard that I've got out there with all those little trees, they're in full blazing sun. They're going to cop it every year regardless, unless, unless, I might do that actually, I may actually cover, not now, it's too late, well never too late actually, I might go out there and cover one of the trees with some bird netting, or the insect netting because that's a finer hole on it. I can use shade cloth 
Just thinking about that, folks. If anybody's done that, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Because uh, this has been sprayed too many times, a lot of times, and it still gets hit. And it's my fault. I should have got out here earlier, just as the leaves were coming out, to give it another hit. Let's see if I can control it. Well, nevertheless, I'm out here to clean it up and make it work.